Hey guys, welcome to this week's post. Thought I'd do something a little bit different and rather than doing a written blog post, I thought I would do a video post for you. More specifically, I'm going to be unboxing this for this. These are my OU materials for my next module, which is EA300 Children's Literature. So, let's get started. I've got my scissors. As you can see, ooh, I haven't actually opened this at all which has been driving me up the wall because I've had this since last night but but the um, the light was not good enough for me to film this at all right okay so first thing in the box is a letter and that just basically is your content checklist so you will normally have this when you um, open up your box of materials and okay so the first one is my study guide it's got a picture of Alice in Wonderland on there, which is strange because I don't think we study her, but hey ho. Um, okay, so I'd seen this online. This is the I've got the electronic version of this. By the way, if you hear noise in the background, that is my husband moving around upstairs. Um, he's just woken up from the sounds of things because I'm filming this very early Saturday morning to get this up for you guys. So yeah. So yeah, this is just a study guide. So this is quite a thick study guide. Some modules will come with quite a thin one. It depends on how um, your course is structured. So this one has sort of a week by week, um, this is what you do sort of thing. Now what I do like about the, if I can find somewhere that says it. Ah, there we go. What I love about the English modules that I've taken is they allocate timing for it. So for example, this is reading the first set text. If you just see there, it just says to allow about nine hours, and that's because it wants you to reread the book. And in that case, it was Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. I get to study that for university. Awesome. Um, so yes, that's what I love about this, is it gives you an idea. So when you're trying to work out sort of timings of how long things should take, I think that's absolutely genius. My French modules weren't so much like that, unfortunately, um, which is a shame. It's to do with choice. Right. Ooh, I think you so exciting. Um, right. Oh. So, we've got children's literature, classic texts and contemporary trends. Now, I believe we have, they're called readers one and two, I think. Where's my first rule of this? Get your contents checklist for you. Okay, yeah, it just says reader one and two, but doesn't actually explain which one is which. So, Going by the ISBN number. Okay, so this is reader two, so this will be the second text that um, I'll be getting from. And this, they don't have electronic material. They don't have this electronically. Most of the materials that you get with the OU, you can download as PDFs or eBooks or Word documents. Um, but for this particular module, um, the two readers, there's another one in there. Uh, they don't make them available electronically because of copyright issues. So this is essentially, I cannot lose this. Um, Okay, so this just looks like a lot of sort of extracts from other books and critical texts. Texts. Can't speak today. It is a bit early. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, so that's going to give me some ideas. So, so, like, research papers and things in there. Okay, so this must be Reader 1, which is Children's Literature Approaches and Territories. Um, yeah. So... Pretty much the same as well, just sort of that this is, seems to be introducing the main themes of the module. I'll read through that later. And the final one is J.M. Barry's Peter Pan and Other Plays. Now, I do believe that we study Peter Pan, um, but we study in the play format. Um, I'm not, I think it's because Peter, if I could be wrong here, but I think Peter Pan was originally written as a play, not as a storybook. Okay. So that was it. I have unboxed my OU materials, so I've now got four lovely books to work my way through for the next year. I am so excited for this course. If you want me to do any more OU related videos or blog posts, please comment below or comment on the blog post. More than happy to do that. Um, just let me know what it is that you want to know and I'll see if I can help. And that's it. So thank you very much for watching guys and I'll see you later.